Hello and welcome to a new Bookwächter video. In this video we want to look at our new book smart app and use the app to set up our new smart lock SICO entry easy. I have newly installed the app on my smartphone. We start the app and I have to set it up first. In the first step we have to click on allow here to allow for example Bluetooth. Then accept the license conditions and we can enter our first and last name. We call ourselves Max Mustermann. Important, this first and last name will also appear with your first user. Then we can enter our email address here. We could also set a check mark here that we want to create a Burgwächter Cloud account. That is only necessary if we want to have another gadget, for example the Secure Entry Bridge. The cloud account can also be created later. If we want to get information about software updates, we make the check mark at this point. That is definitely recommended. Whether you would like to receive the newsletter can be considered. We accept the privacy policy and complete the registration. And of course, we are helping to improve the BookSmart app. Here you can see a short user guide. We start with the first step, user. Then you see the second step, secret entry devices. And the third would be the locking plan. We will start now with step one, user. We already see our user Max Mustermann, which we just created with the registration. If we go to the user, we can edit it further. That means add a code or a radio key. Here below, we already see that the smartphone is stored as an opening method. We go back now, press the plus and can create another user. First, we enter first and last name. I simply call the user pin user. Then we assign a six digit pin code. I will take six, five, four, three, two, one. We can then enter the pin code and add the keyboard later and open the door. We save the user and create a third user. We give him the name radio key. Its name is SE key with us. And here we can also assign a pin code. But for now, let's just keep the radio key. To register the radio key, we press the QR code button and scan the QR code of our radio key. We save the user at the top right via the floppy disk symbol. Now we have created three users. That should be enough for now. We go back and choose step two, our cylinder. Here too, we can go to the top and scan the QR code of the cylinder. We recognize it, among other things, with a six-digit administrator code on the sheet. Now we can also define a name here. We call the cylinder's front door. We could also change the administrator code here at this point. I will skip this thing and leave the code as it is noted on the QR code. Now the app is asking whether we want to link a keypad. In our case, this is not necessary because we have purchased a secret entry easy set with pin code keypad. All data is automatically stored on the cylinder. Therefore, we press the button skip. All data of the cylinder is already stored. We go back to step three, our locking plan. Here we see our three users. Max is allowed to open the front door. We also save the pin user. And our radio key is also allowed to open the front door. We save that too. In short, here we determine who is allowed to open which door. And now we save changes. We see that our front door is still marked in red. We need to update it first. Therefore, we press the button Program and enter our admin code. The data is now transferred to the cylinder via Bluetooth. Of course, we have to be in the vicinity of the cylinder, in this case, in the Bluetooth range. The data was now successfully transferred. If we have a secure entry bridge, and this is also connected to the cylinder, we could also transfer the data from a distance. However, you have to be connected to the internet with the bridge. Now we see that our front door is marked in green. That should be it. We can go back to the dashboard and see if the cylinder reacts. Yes, it does. So we have done everything right. 
We can also see the battery status of, of the cylinder here. The batteries are completely charged. At this point we can also create a dashboard link directly. To do this we go down to the plus and we adjust the front door as direct as hex. This has the advantage that only with this one cylinder with a stored serial number is controlled. In practice this brings more range. In addition one cylinder only reacts when we have several systems in use and in range. We test it once and press the link. The front door responds. That's it. I wish you a lot of fun with the Secure Entry Easy System and the Book Smart App. Of course, more videos will follow.